This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Monday, October the 11th, 2021. Happy Thanksgiving from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Hello, Taurus. How are you guys doing this evening? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cutting the deck for Taurus. Spirit. First card out. The Empress. This is your card. The Empress. This is Taurus and Libra energy. The Empress. This is uh, Divine Feminine, Maternal Energy, um, Independent. She sits in her throne. She sits in her power. She knows her worth. She does not get out of her throne for anybody or anything. She, is, she can take care of herself. She's always birthing new ideas. If you're pregnant, congratulations. Um, or you've got ideas to make money. Passion projects, the Empress. What is crossing this? Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could talk about holding on to someone with your heart chakra. It can also talk about uh, your finances. Save more than you spend. Watch your money. What is consciously known? Ace of Wands. Ooh. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ace of Wands. This is a new passionate beginning. I like it. New passionate beginning. Queen of Love. We have the Queen of Love. Cups are water energy, Cat, Pisces, Scorpio. The Queen of Love. She got heart for eyes, upside down heart for nose. This beautiful uh, red and silver brooch. Um, she's loving, she's caring, she's compassionate, she's a nurturer, she's a good parent, she's a good partner. Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. Recent past, Seven of Wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Seven of Wands talks about overcoming obstacles. And there have been a lot, a lot of challenges coming in your way. But you have the power to overcome each and every obstacle and emerge victorious. Near future, the Eight of Cups. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. See, she's got a crown of cups or a crown of skulls here. Purple flowers. Looks like her crowns are crying, or heard the skulls in her crown are crying. This does talk about walking away from something that no longer serves you. Where do you find yourself? Five of Swords. Ouch. Swords are energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is toxic behavior. Lying, cheating, stealing, possible addictions. Swords are energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Toxic energy. External influences. The Justice. This is the Libra card, the Justice. Uh, yeah, well, since we have the Empress, this could be um, a court case, divorce, child support, you will come out on top. Um, oftentimes, this person is blindfolded because justice is blind. You've got the Libra square scales here. Um, this person also has a scythe. This could talk about cutting someone or something out of your life. Hopes and or fears. Page of Swords. Stalker. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, are you stalking someone, Taurus? If you are not, that means that someone is stalking you. Especially with this toxic behavior card right here. Overall outcome, 
King of Swords, the Ice King, Swords of Erangy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Swords. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. If you do not give the King of Swords honest, clear communication, he will use his sword and he will cut you out of his life. Makes head over heart decisions. However, okay, the King of Swords. Will is very loving and loyal to someone who who is honest and clear with them. Bottom of the deck, the Magician, Gemini Energy, the Magician. This is manifesting, the Great Manifester. There's a picture up here, a sword, candles, a hand with an eye on it. Looks like a wand, has a W here. He's got a crystal ball, a wand. There's a, a bowl here, a chalice, some plants. You can manifest cups for love, wands for fashion, pentacles for money, and swords for honest, clear communication. You are the great manifester. Ooh, four wands. Wands are fire energy. Arizio Sagittarius. This is my party card. You could be having a rehearsal for a wedding, a rehearsal for a hand fasting. This also talks about the increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. The Wheel of Fortune! The Wheel of Fortune! The wheel is spinning in an upward direction for you. This is success. This is a positive omen. The Wheel of Fortune. The wheel spinning in an upward direction. The Temperance. The Temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. Um, this is talking about divine timing, having patience, trusting that universe or spirit will give you what you need at the proper time. And two of pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two of pentacles is wishy-washy behavior. Wishy-washy behavior. You need to make a decision about something. You would know what it is. So we had, you are the empress. I'm watching your money. New passionate beginning. Queen of love. Overcoming obstacles. Walking away from something that no longer serves. Justice. The ice king. The, ma the magician, the great manifester, increase in level of commitment, wheel spinning in an upward direction, and a divine timing. And making a decision. I'm not sure what this is about. You would know. We had toxic behavior and we had a stalker. So keep that in mind. Love cards. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic dress gesture. Increase level of commitment. We also had the queen of love. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Something to do with this toxic behavior, maybe. And bottom of the deck. Religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Well, of course, it's all the differences that make things interesting, isn't it? You are the Empress. New passionate beginning. Queen of love. Ice King, the Great Manifester, wheel spinning in upward direction, and where was it? Increase in level of commitment in a relationship. Oh, right there. All right, Taurus, have a great day. I will talk to you soon. This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Bye for now.